Welcome to the Law Toolbox for Time Matters integration with Time Matters version 2021. The latest integration allows you to use your Law Toolbox to integrate automated calendar rules and deadlines into your Time Matters Matters. We're going to take a look at a brand new Time Matters Matter and we're going to notice a couple of fields here. The matter reference field refers to the name of the matter and the matter number is the critical field that we will put into Law Toolbox that allows the deadlines to sync from Law Toolbox into Time Matters. We can see here with this being a brand new matter, we don't have any deadlines set and we check that on both the related tab and the timeline. And you see we don't have any upcoming events in the next 90 days. So when we move from Time Matters into our Law Toolbox, directly in our Outlook, we can open up our instance of Law Toolbox and we can see here all of the existing matters. So we're gonna create this as a new matter. So here we don't have to be full description because it doesn't have to be an exact match. So we can use a longer description in Time Matters and a shorter one here. The important thing to note is gonna be our matter reference number as it's listed in Time Matters. We're gonna choose California. As you can see here, the venues are broken down by civil court. For the Superior Court, we even have family law, probate rules, bankruptcy deadlines. If we wanted to do some basic calendaring where we put in countdown tools, we can do that here. In this same area, we can use our type ahead search and we can see Los Angeles County State Civil Superior Court and after accepting agreement, we create the venue. At this point, we can actually calculate our new rules. So we'll be prompted to select a trigger. Date action commenced is the start of the file or start of the case. And we're gonna say that started earlier this week. And right now it is calculating all the deadlines. So as you can see here, those deadlines now trigger off of the commencement date and give us all of the dependent deadline structures, as well as reference links to the ruling authorities where we can do our research to determine whether or not an individual deadline applies to this case. If we determine it does not, we can uncheck that deadline and choose not to add it to the calendar. We also here at the ellipsis have the ability to look at the details, edit and delete these deadlines later after they have been added to the calendar. When we look at the details, it shows a full deadline description. So the short description you see on your calendar listing is here at the top, then the full description of the rule is listed below, making it even easier for you to make a judgment call or decision as to whether or not that is an applicable deadline in your given matter. To add these to the calendar, we have one simple action, which is to click the sync button and add the selected deadlines. Now we're looking at all the deadlines that have been synced and the one that we chose not to, you see here shows not synced. If we decide later that is a deadline that we need to add, that can be added. Now we go back to our time matters in our dashboard view of the matters. We can see the upcoming events in the next 90 days immediately synced over to their time matters record. If we open the time matters record, we can see those deadlines in two places. In the related tab, which is a record of all of the events that have been added to this, we can also see those deadlines on the timelines tab. If we wanted to see an overall view of all of the deadlines, we can look at our calendar events list view. And if we filter or sort by matter reference number, we can see all of the records that were added and associated with that matter reference 21-600. The last place that we can see these records in Time Matters is on the Time Matters calendar. Going back to our Outlook, here we can actually see in a calendar view, both inside here as well as in our Outlook calendar. We also have the ability to see a dashboard view of all of our matters in a four-day view. And here we are added to the dashboard. 
Additionally, we have a new feature called Upcoming Deadlines, which allows us to see a seven-day view. Going back to the matter record here, we can add additional deadlines or appointments as general calendar ads. We can calculate additional deadlines. One of the most unique deadline types within the Law Toolbox are repeat deadlines, or what we refer to as repeat calculators. Discovery, motions, hearings, depositions. These are all types of reusable deadlines that may occur at more than one juncture in a case. Something unique to the discovery deadlines is the request for method of service, and that is automatically calculated by venue for you. So you can choose and it will tell you how many plus days there are for response. What is common to all repeat calculators is the ability to put in a unique descriptor that is different for each time you use the repeat calculator. So for instance, in this case, we've already served discovery on one party. We're going to serve discovery on another party that may have evidence to bear on the matter. That unique descriptor goes into the deadline description so that we can tell the difference between these deadlines and any subsequent discovery we put in. The same fields are used in motions, hearings, depositions, and other types of repeat calculators. When you change a deadline, such as date of trial, which we're now going to put in, all of the dependent deadlines will actually move. This is a powerful tool to allow you to input a date of trial at the start of a case, and then when a real trial date is issued by the judge, you can update that and it will automatically update all of the rules that depend on the trial date. So you can see all of these rules in here leading up to the date of trial. So we're going to synchronize those or add those selected deadlines. We're going to take a quick glance here at our date of trial. And we're going to see that there are some dependent deadlines, deadline to file and serve trial briefs. We see this here on 11-10-2021 related to a trial date of 11-18. When we look at that in time matters in the matter record, we now see that we have quite a few deadlines added. But we're going to go straight to the timeline and we're going to go to our trial date and we're going to see our deadline to serve trial briefs. And now we're going to update that event in Law Toolbox. So we come here to the trigger date, clearly labeled as such. We click the ellipsis, and now we're going to edit. Judges issued a new trial date for the 30th. Going to click Next. And now it is recalculating all of the dependent deadlines associated with it. And there we see our date of trial has been moved to 1130. We have several different kinds of reports that you can get out of Law Toolbox, one of which is a case report, which is emailed, and this is a full deadline listing report for the entire matter. Another type is a date range report, which is exported to Excel or some other type of spreadsheet software. Now we should be able to see these deadlines in our Time Matters record, and we're going to take a look at the Related tab and we're going to see that our date of trial is actually moved to the 30th. And that is how you synchronize and automate your deadlines between Law Toolbox and Time Matters Release 2021.